So this is the second map that I've drawn, again using the same principles and uh, same um, pictorial representations. Um, so the algorithm will start at the start node and progresses um, outward. So the first step looks at this tile, <coughs> um, calculates these values, um, again the G score steps from the start, and the H score, um, again using Manhattan distance, so one, two, three. Um, so it calculates these values and the f-score and then progresses to tile 2, uh, step 2. Again calculates the values and the same for the, uh, node number 3. Um, so after it's discovered all it can and it only goes one tile out or one node out, um, it'll go back and scan through the list of nodes that have been discovered and choose the node with the smallest f-score which in, ca in this case is the 4s and it just goes to the the first one that pre presents itself, which in this case was this one, and again checks the tiles around it, realises that this is the start, and then goes to the next one, um, and calculates the scores, and then puts the F score in, and because it can't go anywhere else, then it checks again for the list, so we've got this one in the list, and this one in the list, now, oh sorry, after this one's been um, processed, it goes on a closed list, so it doesn't get scanned again, so it keeps progressing forward. <coughs> um, so now it scans the open list, which is the list of tiles that need to be scanned uh, further, or you know, um, you know worked on. Um, and we've got two fours here. Um, in this case, it's gone to this one, and it's progressed to here. Step five calculates the values and the f score again. Um, number four. Um, it chooses this one, or it could have even chosen this one, but this one realises that it can't go anywhere, so it just skips it and goes to this one. Um, and of course progresses down, uh, 5 to 6, and the 6 just is the same as this value, um, and it's gone to here, and then to here, calculated this score, and it realises back here is a 6, and that's a smaller value. So as you can see, it goes 6, 7, 8. Um, and then jumps back here and goes to 9. So then it's calculated these scores and realised that's still the shortest one. And it's progressed through here, calculated these values, still an 8. And this one as well, which is a 10. Um, and then it jumps back to here and progresses down here, calculates the F score value, and that's a 10. And we've got an 8 back up here. So it goes back to this tile and calculates these scores and then a 10 so this one's selected realizes it can't go anywhere so it continues back from over here um, so this tile here it goes to this one calculates these values and these values here uh, 10 and 12 chooses the 10 progresses here um, and down to here and 10 and 12 again realizes the 10 is the shortest uh, smallest F score and progresses here and the same um, process happens to 19, to 20, to 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 um, and then splits up here 18, 18 goes the shortest distance so as you can see the path is um, not necessarily represented by the sequence of events um, but as you can see here it's initially progressed down this path here because it's what the H score uh, and the G score combined is telling it is that this is the, sh the closest to the um, finishing node so it starts here and goes down and, it, and it's obviously going to be smaller because it's closer to the finishing node and gets down to here but because you've only stepped once uh, like one step in the uh, algorithm here it's you know it's got a higher score relative to how close you are so um, it does have overhead in it but it, it pays off because it's um, uh, it gives you a good path that you know is going to work um, so obviously the path is you know down here you could go here and across um, or really unhuman like down down cross down you know all the way around um, and the heuristic comes uh, it has a big part in the path that's selected. Um, 
so hopefully that's kind of given you the basic idea I didn't want to go into huge details um, there's a few good websites with um, how the algorithms actually for um, like created and how it works into greater depth and I'll put the links to the side in the comments um, and uh, also if anyone's interested um, you know I'd be willing to give you my library code which shows the implementation of it all that pretty much ends the explanation and I just want to show you the program that I built because I think it clears things up and makes it a bit more um, you know you, once you can see something it's much more easy to comprehend so yeah uh, be sure to check out the next part and yeah I'll see you around